Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Brought the old fan back into the equation. How about that, huh? We're going to take you to the oldest reptile shop in the country right now. Seizure warning, seizure warning, seizure warning. As I play the footage back here, I'm seeing that a ton of my shots have all this blinking light. That's because I was trying to do slow-mo. And uh, so seizure warning. It's obviously the frequency of the lights that's making it do that. But I, I just, you know, there it is. Luckily, all the footage didn't turn out like that. So... It should be a halfway decent video for you guys. Since our last video at Snake Discovery, we have gotten literally thousands of new subscribers. So I appreciate you guys coming over and checking us out. Hopefully we do not disappoint you over the following few weeks. I also want to say that the voting is still open right now for the Snake Discovery Enclosure build off. There is a link down in the description if you'd like to check that out. Uh, we're doing pretty well right now, and I'm really happy with how the results are turning out But again, it was just amazing to be able to go and do the experience and that was really the win in itself Now just a little recap. We were at snake discovery We finished our enclosure builds. We hung out in the back for a while We went to Applebee's and got some dinner and then Garrett and myself and Adam Wickens and Thomas went back to the hotel about midnight and did some podcasting. Garrett proceeded to pour me huge glasses of our beverage. Next thing I know, it's like four in the morning. I'm outside taking a little wade into the lake outside the hotel, and we don't go back inside till the sun starts coming up, take a two and a half hour nap, and then go to film this video. So I just wanted to let you know that that's what's happening and to not expect too much. Enjoy. We are at Twin City Reptiles, the oldest reptile shop owned by a single owner in the entire country of the United States of America. And this gentleman right here that's working on getting some feeders out of the fridge, I'm going to put a clip of this guy the last time he appeared in one of our videos and you're going to see it right uh -oh. now. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's, a, that's what type of video you're watching today, folks. I hope you're ready. Now that I've wiped my camera and it's ready, let's go see what type of things we can find around our reptile shops, such as this one. Hmm, I see something already. It's a wild... I'm out of my cage. Well, I can see a lot of stuff I'd like to, uh... Not put in my pocket, but pay for and take home. Not put in your pocket, but pay for and take home. Yes. Okay. I, I stealing is wrong, kids. Yes, stealing, stealing is wrong. Stealing from my friend's reptile shop? is wrong kids yeah especially if it's you that's doing the stealing yeah right. well maybe well, yeah no no even me moving on dave you know this place very well would you I mind giving me extremely well. would you mind giving me a mini tour dave kaufman is going to give us a mini tour of the minnesota oldest reptile shop in the country under, under its a original owner and original owner that is correct bruce original. dallas Bruce? Um, <clears throat> Bruce is uh, buying retics from Garrett right now. Oh, that makes sense. Let's go document that. I am a Garrett. What is your name? What do you do? My name is Bruce Dallas. I own Twin Cities Reptiles, and I've been in business for 43 years. All right, so if you want L tour, as I get my B-roll for this here video, um, so... This is the lizard wall, and there's the frog wall, and then there's the inverts in the island over here, and then that wall is the snakes. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Twin Cities Reptiles. <laughs> When I come to reptile shops, I'm still in my little kid mode. Okay. Uh, technically, I'm 40, but I always want to just open up all the cages and check out. Right, like, hey, right. Would you mind taking me through and opening up some of the cages and we can check out some of the animals? You know, I can do that, but to be, I'm going to be totally candid with you. I don't work the floor that much, so I don't know what the temperament is on a whole lot of these. My guys do, so... That's even better, to be honest. Oh, so I can get bit, thanks. No, no, I don't want you to get bit. I'm, I'll, put, I'll put my hand in if you open the cage up. Uh, no, I... Um, One thing I'll do for sure, Bruce, is on yeah. this video, I'll edit it in a way that makes you look like a genius and nothing less. Nope, I don't want that. Okay, then I'll do be completely candid and show yep. all the mistakes that you make. Exactly. 
Let me here, just let me get a shot of that uh, code that you're uh, entering in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, good. But after the fifth try, I finally figured it out. There you go, there you go. <laughs> it's not just zero, 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 zero. <laughs> no, no, it used to be. Well, here's one that one of these. Uh, these are magazines. The wife decided that we bought these as babies. We're going to grow up and try and reproduce these euromastics at some point in time here if they uh, decide to do their thing. And again, I, I am not the. Uh, I'm a novice as far as personal information on this guy, other than the fact that it's fat, which you can tell that the wife feeds it. If it were me feeding it, it would not be this fat. These guys are kind of robust yeah. lizards. Yeah, but they don't have to be like that robust. Right, right. You know? Look at that big belly. The thing, the yeah. Well, you know, that's a be, big, happy lizard. To be fair, that's a good wife. Yeah. Well, to make it easy for you, Bruce, the, the one animal that really stuck out to me that I'd immediately wanted to go in the enclosure was the uh, cyclura. Or any snake, then. If we, if we can't go on the cyclura... Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Got a second? What a great lizard. The really cool thing about this... That's right, this you've got one, don't you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a little one. Pretty so, dodge. And this is a ton of crickets. So the thing about this room that is not open to the public that I really love is all your pet crickets over here. Gary, what's your favorite thing about rhino iguanas? That Thomas is gonna hold one right now. No, that's not actually happening. What? It's not actually happening? There's nothing, there's no favorite thing to pick about them. They're like the ultimate reptile. You went reptile. from like, he's gonna get close to the rhino iguana. Like he's holding the rhino iguana. Yeah, iguana. can he sit down and <laughs> put it on seconds. his lap or something like that? <laughs> you don't talk to you, no big deal. You don't let him talk to you like that? Yeah. yeah, and you can even just let him crawl on you, too. Hey, buddy. He's just being curious. You know, his defensive yeah, behaviors yeah, yeah. are when he's being Thank territorial. You. He head bops a lot, or head bops a lot. Yeah. He'll charge you, he'll tail whip, but right now he's curious, but he's not exhibiting any of those territorial behaviors. You know what he's curious about, Tom, is he's curious about which part of your body you're not that concerned about. Uh, I'm curious, too. Park one day, she comes up to me and she's all giggling. I was like, What's up? She says, Guess what? You just bought me for my birthday. But this is Patty, this is her. Let me get a little better light on there. Oh, uh, going to sleep. And this is this is Sarah's favorite lizard in this entire show. I would say this is her of everything that's here. If, if there were a fire and somebody said run, that's the first That's the first, that's the first she case she'd grab. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Patty is her. Did Oscar Garrett produce this animal here? Yes, he did. Yeah. And it's your biggest snake at the, the shop. At the, at the shop, yeah. Garrett Hartle's Super Dwarf is the largest snake at this shop. And that tells you a lot about Garrett Hartle's Super Dwarfs. And what? <laughs> like, out of all the cool reptiles here, did you film the goldfish down there, which is just an awesome goldfish? I actually did. I've got B-roll of it right here. I shot it right. You are... You are now an ardent professional YouTuber, and my training is complete. <laughs> if you're missing uh, anything on my channel that you think you didn't see on this video, just go watch uh, Dave's video on this, and you'll probably see the exact same shot. The shots. exact same thing. So, yeah. yeah. She's right. not handled a whole lot, and she likes to eat, so I'm very, very respectful of her. From the, uh, I was going to say white winged dove, but look at the whatever. Stars. Look at this incredible shot that I'm getting of this snake that Brian is holding and trying to film. Just incredible. So now this is a super dwarf, obviously yes. from... Yes. Super dwarf. It is a... Uh, this Platinum is a, this Mochino is a super dwarf. <laughs> and you can tell by how far Dave is away. Okay, there we go. With the snake. Now it's got some leverage. Come on, come on, get that shot. Actually, you know, surprisingly enough, this is not the first time you and I have been handcuffed together like this. 
You know, Garrett does produce some amazing snakes. He does, he does. Do you have a favorite that we've yet? I joke see? about that. Everybody says, what's your favorite? The one I just sold went out the door. <laughs> it's a business. So we got to go chase it down in the parking lot. That's exactly, right. Let's go exactly. Back. I don't have one, to be honest with you. I mean, there's a lot of animals that I would like to get again that I've had in the past, and some I think are really cool. The retic, Patty, Potsy. But I can't say that's my favorite. When you've been in it this long, this many, there's such a variety of stuff that you possibly sure. could have had that, you know. As we talked earlier, I lived and I lived out there. California red-sided garters. When you think garter snakes, most people think cheap, basic starter. Not really. One of my favorite snakes. Yeah, absolutely. One of the most beautiful garter absolutely. snakes, if not one of the most beautiful snakes. Those are the real herpers. I was born in Oakland. Okay? I was born in Hayward. Really? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we're cousins. Western Fences is out in California, you know, one of the first beginning. Either American and Olds for 98 cents a piece, yep. feed them on flies, that was it, or mealworms, right. you know, or Western Fist Lizards. Those were the two most common California pet store lizards you could get. That's for right. $5.99, though, you could get a Chuck Walla. $19.99, you get a squirrel monkey. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Speaking of squirrel monkeys, can we check out the monkey tail skink? I'm gonna let you do this so that we don't have like the exact same video. So, have at Mr. Monkey Tail. See, that's what kind of team player I am. One of my favorite things about coming to a reptile shop is getting to hold some of the animals that potentially are going to uh, bite you, because generally they don't bite me, which I love. It's that we've got an understanding. We just want to hang out, respect each other's space, and uh, the camera doesn't always help with that, but this guy's chilling. I just, I love monkey tail snakes. They're super cool. And everyone, I ha everyone I've ever handled, yeah, yeah, yeah. the person that hands it to me says, this thing might bite you yeah. every single time. Yeah. I've yet to get bit by one, so I don't know what that it feels is, yeah. like. <laughs> it's, you know, like any other skink bite, essentially. Thinking about my microphone. Beautiful. All right, guys, so while Brian and Garrett are off filming their episodes, I wanted to show you one of the coolest snakes that you're going to find here at Twin Cities Reptiles. This is a barren racer. Woo, come here, little buddy. The, our big adults have got great feed response. They will go from the cage into a high end of their feed box. As soon as they hit that box, they'll turn around and they will eat whatever. They'll eat the kitchen sink if yeah, it's coming yeah. in, that, in that feed box. They're in that condition. But other than that, they're good, you know, and... Uh, like I said, they are, they are a rear fang animal, but there's never been any uh, serious bite from what I understand talking to Dan mm -hmm. Kyler, Dr. Kyler, yep, yep, yep. has said there's never been, but... They've got that little appendage on the tip of their nose, which makes these guys so unique. Well, Dave, thank you for the tour of your hometown reptile shop. I my pleasure, it. my pleasure. I, you really can't come to Minneapolis without going to Twin Cities Reptiles, so... It was my pleasure to show you our little hometown reptile shop that we're all very proud of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Prince. And Prince. Yeah, and Prince. And Prince, yes. You guys, thank you for watching the video. We're on our way to Dave's place now. We're going to do a Cusco Uncut on his hometown collection of reptiles. So what you think about that? Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a dislike if you absolutely just do whatever Don't you want. Don't leave a dislike. Nah, do whatever you want. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha. Nice. <laughs> no, the prince was playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> the life we live. Can you believe they dance for you?